Weren't two journalists just released from North Korea by Bill Clinton because they dared wander into that sacred nation without permission? This is something for you to behold. The very same government of the United States of America under Hillary Clinton and Obama, Barack Obama that wants to continue the open border policy started by Bill Clinton and magnified and amplified by George Bush, the open borders with Mexico, where drug dealers can walk right across the border, says nothing about a legitimate American broadcaster with millions of followers being unable to go across the borders of Britain. Don't you see what's at stake here? Don't you understand what's at stake here? I am one man fighting an entire government. Don't you understand what's at stake? I hope you do. And I hope you understand this is not hype, nor do I care about selling a certain number of books because it will fatten my wallet. I hope you understand that I'm well past that point in my life. And I hope you understand that there's a greater principle in these shows about being banned in Britain and this one man's fight to free his name from this list of murderers and terrorists. I hope you understand. I'll be right back. Imagine discovering an opportunity that can completely rebuild your retirement fund by 40% over the next two years. Does it sound too good to be true? It's not if you take action today. Call my good friends, and I mean good friends, at Swiss America. Gold IRAs have averaged 20% per year growth since 2001. It's just common sense to roll over dead paper assets into gold, the best performing asset of the century. Then you can relax no matter what happens on Wall Street. Call now for a complete Gold 101 DVD and my free CD. Call toll-free 888-867-8965. That's 888-867-8965. For nearly a decade, I've told you to trust Gold Coins and Swiss America. Today, it's more urgent than ever. Get my CD, DVD, a new special report. Call toll-free 888-867-8965. That's 888-867-8965. Learn before you earn. Don't just imagine rebuilding your wealth. Do it now. Call 888-867-8965 today. No one else can say it that clear and that precise. And he has passion, of course. The Savage Nation. Weekday afternoons 3 to 7. Talk 910. KNEW. All right, I want to do this with you. I want to take you inside a courtroom. I'm going to act as my own defense attorney. I'm going to ask you, the American people listening to the Savage Nation, conservative, libertarian, liberal, independent, uh, to be the jury. And I want to read something to you. We discovered the following memo uh, being passed back and forth before they put me on this list of murderers and terrorists. Listen to what one of them said. Savage has a show called The Savage Nation. His views are extreme. He considers immigration, liberalism, and Islam to be the most dangerous threats to the U.S. He broadcasts on approximately 350 stations and receives an estimated weekly audience of 8 million listeners. This is what they wrote to each other. He is the third most popular radio talk show host in America. Now listen very carefully, folks, members of the jury. Here's what they wrote to each other in a summary of why I should be banned from Britain and that my fundamental rights be denied. Quote, Savage is the founder of the Paul Revere Society, which according to its mission statement, aims to, quote, to take back our borders, our language, and our traditional culture from the left, er corroding our great nation, close quote. This was a hit on me because I am a conservative. Now, the very same government that took offense with me because I believe in borders, language, and culture, today released the terrorist mastermind behind the Lockerbie bombing. And I want you to listen to, to Scottish Justice Secretary Kenny McCaskill, another far leftist, explaining why he released the Lockerbie bomber. Listen to clip two. Our justice system demands that judgment be imposed, but compassion be available. Our beliefs dictate that justice be served, but mercy be shown. Compassion and mercy are about upholding the beliefs that we seek to live by, remaining true to our values as a people, no matter the severity of the provocation or the atrocity perpetrated. Rubbish. 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 Where is the compassion and mercy towards Michael Savage? 
You low-life lout, you. You release an actual murderer who masterminded the blowing up of an airplane and the killing of hundreds of people, saying that you did so out of compassion and mercy, while Michael Savage, because he is a conservative and he is a white male, receives no such compassion and no such mercy. You say that compassion and mercy are the beliefs that you seek to live by, and yet your cohorts in London have no compassion or mercy for a conservative named Michael Savage? That you colluded behind my back to destroy my name and reputation and to deny me free travel and free speech? And you didn't notify me? You didn't give me a chance to explain myself or answer as to whether these statements are actually true? This is your idea of compassion and mercy, Scottish Justice Kenny McCaskill? Listen to clip three now. For these reasons, and these reasons alone, it is my decision that Mr. Abdel Basset Ali Mohmed Al Megrahi, convicted in 2001 of the Lockerbie bombing, now terminally ill with prostate cancer, be released on compassionate grounds and are allowed to return to Libya to die. So in other words, if I had a terminal illness and I was going to die, you'd let me into your rotten, stinking nation? Is that what you would do? If I were terminally ill, you'd release me for compassionate grounds? Well, let me tell you something. I ain't going to die so fast. Let me tell you something, Mr. Justice. I'm not going to get sick so fast. And let me tell you something else. I'm going to fight you until the last breath in my mouth. I'll make sure my name is cleared, and I will name you and shame all of you before I am through. I will show the world what you have become. I will show them how you, how you have not only acted to defend your own people and your own honor, how you've acted not only to, def not, to not defend Britain, to not defend your borders, to not defend the English language, to not defend your culture, but to destroy it from within. Whether it be out of cowardice or treason, I'm not sure if it's a combination of one or the both or something else. You talk about compassion and mercy out of one side of your mouth, while your cohorts in London show no such compassion and mercy to a man whose only crime is that he is an outspoken white male conservative, and that is your idea of compassion and mercy? Ladies and gentlemen of the Savage Jury, I rest my case. I have been banned in Britain. If you think that they have not become a, a quasi-fascist state, I would like you to call me and tell me why. Savage. This is the Savage Nation on Talk 910 KNEW. So the very day that the the British Liberal Party, and make no mistake about it, the Scottish government, although it's different than the uh, government in England, is a sister to the labor philosophy, the liberal philosophy. And they take the mastermind of the Lockerbie bombing and they release him to Libya. He goes home to a hero's welcome. They say they did it out of compassion and mercy. And yet, for Michael Savage, white male conservative who believes in borders, language, and culture, I am a bigger enemy than a murderer. Yet they put me on a list of people to be banned, but not him. He's allowed in. Chicago, Dennis, you're on the Savage Nation. Uh, hey, Michael, um, I think you're comparing apples and oranges, your case and that uh, other guy's case. I mean, he's an admitted terrorist, and he's dying from cancer. So, you know, there's no harm that he could produce anymore. You know, so yeah, they You said there's no harm in releasing him because he can do no harm anymore? That's what I think, yeah. He's just going to die. D you know? Dennis, how, how old are you, Dennis? Uh, 31. All right. Well, you act like a 15-year-old because he came home to a hero's welcome. He is a role model to future terrorists in Libya. He has shown that he beat the British system. He has made fools of the British people. Don't you see any of that? Uh, I assume that you are a Democrat, correct? Uh, I'm wavering between one and the other. I think there are right. how, how do you think Obama would react to this situation? Do you think that Obama th would say, yes, release the Lockerbie bomber out of compassion and mercy? Do you think that that's what Obama's position would be? I think so, yeah. Well, here's what, my friend. 
You're wrong on both accounts. Play clip five. We, we have been in contact with the Scottish government uh, in, indicating uh, that we objected to this. And uh, we thought it was a mistake. Uh, we're now in contact with the Libyan government and want to make sure that uh, if, in fact, this transfer has taken place, that uh, he's not welcomed back uh, in some way, but instead should be under house arrest. Uh, we've also obviously been in contact with the families of the Pan, uh, the Pan Am victims uh, and uh, indicated to them uh, that we don't think this was appropriate. So Obama was opposed to it after the fact because he understands what outrage there's going to be in America. So even liberals should be opposed to the release of the Lockerbie bomber, particularly when the Scottish Justice Kenny McCaskill had the gall to say he did so out of mercy, compassion and mercy, that those are the beliefs that the Labour government seeks to live by. How could they believe in compassion and mercy? How could they say that their government is built upon compassion?